Christmas tradition is disappearing fast. As News 13's Emily Younger explains, the famous kissing plant isn't blooming like it used to. She's live with the details. Emily? Yeah, Jessica, we checked about five different flower shops today, and turns out only one of them even carries the plant. What we found there wasn't much to cheer about either. Take a look at this one. It's one very sad mistletoe. Mistletoe. From the movie The Grinch. Pucker up and kiss it, who, Bill? To catchy Christmas tunes like. I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Mistletoe is a holiday tradition that's getting the kiss of death. Mistletoe is an endangered species. Josh Glass is the vice president of People's Flower Shops in Albuquerque. He says over the past few years, the drought has wiped out more than half of the mistletoe crop. We keep a small amount of this, what we can get. And the remaining crop isn't up to par. It should be a little greener than this, a little more, a little more alive, if you will, and it should have berries on it. It is, that is, that is a bummer. Julio Jaramillo is a big believer in mistletoe romance. Well, I think of, if you get caught underneath it, you're, you're giving a kiss, absolutely. He says without it, Christmas wouldn't be the same. It brings back cheer and, and folks, you know, tend to look out for that and, and want to participate in that. To help make up for the shortage, flower shops like People's are now relying on other holiday options, like floral arrangements and poinsettias. The only difference, these flowers don't come with a guaranteed holiday smoocheroo, but florists aren't giving up hope. It's sad to see mistletoe. Um, its day has faded, uh, but it's been replaced by, you know, so many other wonderful traditions. Now, most of the mistletoe sold in New Mexico comes from California and Texas. Because of the shortage, there is a booming business for fake mistletoe. Back to you. Okay, Emily, now if you ever find yourself in a conversation about mistletoe, we wanted to help you out. There are 1,300 species of mistletoe, but only two are native to the U.S. Mistletoe is parasitic. It grows on trees and steals their water and nutrients. And mistletoe with its red berries is toxic to people and pets. A big tradition in my household. We had a, my mom had one every year. <laughs> Who's doing PR for mistletoe? I mean, it's a weed, basically. Yeah. It's parasitic and it's toxic. Jess, you're yeah. killing mistletoe. My mom loved it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything.